Franco's supporters were united in the common cause of defeating the Republic. But as to what to replace it with, there was much dispute. First, there were the fascists, the Falange. Before the war and his imprisonment, their leader, Jose Antonio, had tried to present a doctrine of seductive simplicity. Tenemos una fe resuelta de que están vivas todas las fuentes genuinas de España. España ha venido a menos por una triple división, por la división engendrada por los separatismos locales, por la división engendrada entre los partidos y por la división engendrada por la lucha de clases. Cuando España encuentre una empresa colectiva que supere todas esas diferencias, España volverá a ser grande como en sus mejores tiempos. The Falanque's fascism was disguised by revolutionary jargon. Artiso Perales was one of its first members. La Falange era un movimiento revolucionario que pretendía cambiar... The Falange was a revolutionary movement which wanted to carry out profound changes in the Spanish society of those times, the changes which are still necessary today. José Antonio proclaimed a doctrine which resolved opposing doctrines in society. It upheld spiritual values and the belief in the fatherland as our common and universal destiny, and at the same time it aimed for a social revolution. The agrarian reform would turn the land over to the peasants so that the vision of giving the ownership of the land to those who work it would come true. Banks would be nationalized because it was considered unjust that the savings of all the Spanish people should be controlled by a few who dominated the economy of the country. The Falanque's leadership was predominantly middle class or aristocratic young men. But the movement was designed to appeal to working class sentiments, albeit staunchly anti-Marxist. Raimundo Fernandez Cuesta later became Secretary General of the Falange. We discussed whether we should wear any distinctive clothing. Jose Antonio said, we should wear a blue shirt. It's the same color as the proletariat's overalls. And it was the same for the flag. It was black and red because that was the flag of the anarchist trade unions. We wanted ours to be similar. The same with the word comrade, traditionally used by the communists. Jose Antonio said, I don't see why we shouldn't claim it ourselves. Give the word comrade a different meaning. In spite of its pretensions, the Falange never became a mass fascist party with large working class membership. Unlike what had happened in Germany and Italy, fascism had not taken root in Spain before the war. For one thing, the economic conditions were very different. Spain was still economically in the 19th century. The groups that might have been attracted by fascism were either satisfied by conventional politics or just non-existent. There was no large petty bourgeoisie scarred by recession or defeat in a world war. The middle class was reassured that the dominant presence of the army would protect them from revolution and the working class have suffered no disappointment that might provoke them to find an alternative to Marxist, socialist or anarchist ideals. In 1936, however, after the February elections when democracy disintegrated into political violence, conservative youth had begun to defect to the radical alternative. And once the war began, people flocked to the Falange. It was a demonstration of allegiance to the nationalist cause. And moreover, with a purge of working class organizations, it became a safe haven for anybody whose background was suspiciously leftist. The blue shirt became known as a Salva Vida, a life jacket. Como los elegidos de los dioses, como si Frido te enfrentaste con el dragón, como Amadís luchaste por afán por la dama de tus desvelos, para librarla de bruja, como Garcilaso hiciste poesía y caíste por el imperio sin casco ni coraza a cara descubierta al asaltar el castillo de tus ilusiones, en tierra de palmeras gallardas cual fuera y cerca del mar 
mar Mediterráneo, clásico como tu cultura, luminoso como tu cerebro y azul como tu camisa, reposa por ahora cuerpo, pero tu alma habrá entrado ya en ese paraíso que cantaras y en donde en las bandas de las puertas, junto a los ángeles con espadas, hacen guardia sus escuadras caídas cara al león. Y por España victoriosa de todos sus enemigos, sin pactos ni Que passeremos! 